happy day dear children welcome to our 6th standard english class hope you are all good today we continue the lesson the voice of conscience page number 105 already we learned first two pages now we continue the lesson now ramadan spoke up whom do you appoint as panchayat jumain he said let that be settled once the panchayat has spoken you must abide by its decision juman realized that the most of those present might not support him let kalanjan choose the members of the panchayat he said angrily it she who has asked for it beta the members of the panchayat are no one's friends and no one's enemies said the old woman if you do not trust the men in this assembly but them be you trust alagu doesn't you well then i appoint alagu as serpent the man was elector but he hide it well Alagu said uneasily, "You know that I am Juman's friend. A panchayat is above both friendship and enmity, my child. It is God who speaks through him," said Kalanchan gravely. Alagu was appointed serpent judge. Ramadan Mistra and Juman's other adversaries. cursed kala for making this foolish choice chuman said alago you and i are old friends but in the eyes of the panchayat kalanjan and you are equal you are free to state your case chuman was convinced that alago was only pretending to be impartial He addressed the panchayat respectfully. Three years ago, Kalanjan transferred his property in my name, and in return, I agreed to look after all her needs. I have fulfilled my responsibility. Kalanjan is like a mother to me. But if the women of the house will choose to quarrel with one another, what can I do? Kalanjan wants me to give her a monthly allowance. Her property does not earn me enough profit for me to do so. That's all I have to say. I will accept the panchayat decision, whatever it is. Alagu knew legal pursuit well and began to question Juman's like a citizen lawyer. Each skillful question pricked Juman's heart like an arrow, while Ramadan Mistra marveled at Alagu's fairness. Juman could hardly believe his ears. What had suddenly happened to this his old friend? Why was Alagu bent on ruining their friendship? Why? Juman was pondering over this unexpected and unhappy turn of events. Alagu pronounced the panchayat verdict. Juman, he said, the panchayat has examined this matter carefully and this is our decision. You must give Kalanjan a monthly allowance for her maintenance. We are convinced that you can afford to do so for the profit that her property fetches you. If you are not willing to pay her a responsible sum of money, then return her property to her. Juman felt utterly bittered. How faithless, how deceitful Alago has written out to be. He thought. Ramandan and the other members of the panchayat rejoiced. 
this is true justice they proclaimed the verdicts of the panchayat shook the foundations of alago and jumain's friendship outwardly they both pretended all was well inwardly jumain began to thirst for revenge he did not have to wait long the previous year alago had bought a fine pair of blankets a months or so after kalanchen's panchayat one of the blankets died jumain and his croin street joined at alago's misfortune alago suspected that his old friend returned for might have poisoned the blanket his wife and jumain's wife karimen exchanged hot words over the issue and had to be forcibly separated alago decided to sell the surviving blanket he sold it to a trader samju sahu who promised to pay alago within a month but no sooner had samju brought the blanket home than he began to work the poor animal to death blanket had been accustomed to a wholesome diet plenty of rest and good grooming at alago's the life he was now forced to lead was exactly the opposite at the end of one long and exhausting day when he was forced to pull down the load he normally pulled the blanket collapsed and died samju hit and kicked him but to no avail the highway was deserted there were no village nearby samju had to spend the night on the khan he must have fallen asleep for when he awoke he found that his entire day earning to about 200 rupees had been stolen and so had most of his goods causing his face and the dead black card samju went home someone went by whenever alago asked samju to pay him for the blanket he had bought from his samju flatly refused you sold me a half dead animal he said because of him i lost up a lot so much money and now you want payment for a corpse two men almost came to bowl the villagers separated them and advised them both to call a panchayat to resolve the matter the panchayat assembled a few evening later samju appointed juman as sarpanch alagus heart sank but he did not disagree awareness of responsibility often changes a person so it was that despite his enmity with alagu juman experience a change come over him as he took his place as sarpanch i am now the arbiter of truth and justice a little voice said within him i must not allow my personal prejudice to cloud my judgment the panchayat began to question the two opponents everyone seemed to agree that some judge should pay for the blanket he had bought but some people thought the price should be reduced because some judge has suffered a financial loss as a result of the blanket dud there were other who want some judge to pay the full price as well as be punished for this cruelty towards an animal after hearing all the arguments juman pronounced the panchayat verdict it's only prof- proper he said that some judge should pay alago the full price for this blanket the animal was 
perfectly healed when he was sold he died only because of overwork and an insufficient diet alag he is not reduced to reduce the price of the blanket it he does so that sees good nature as for whether some chu should be punished to ill treating the blanket that is another matter and outside the scope of this panchayat alag could hardly believe is here he stood up and showed shouted joyfully panchayat parmesh var ki jai ya little later juman sought out of his old friend embraced him and wept alagu he said after you were serpent ya kalanchens panchayat i became your bitterest enemy but today i have realized that for a panchayat friendship and enmity are not important only justice matter the voice of the panchayat is the voice of our conscience it is indeed the voice of god alagu to begin to weep the tears of two old men washed away the enmity from their hearts and revealed their withered friendship Okay children take care have a nice day